Hello guys, welcome back. In this new video series, I'm going to demonstrate how to make use of most common, popular and widely used technologies to build an app. And when I say most common, popular and widely used technologies, uh, I mean HTML, CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap. I believe these are still like 90% of iOS and Android app or progressive web app we see in the market. These are built in these technologies, these front-end technologies using HTML, CSS um, and Bootstrap. And also in the back end, I'm going to use MySQL because MySQL in no doubt in my opinion is the king of all the databases. Um, and at the same time, I'm going to make use of advanced Angular framework, uh, which connects the, you know, I'm going to write most of the business logic in Angular and I'm going to use, make use of Node.js and connect to the back end using MySQL. Uh, I have done a lot of tutorials recently where I've used Angular with um, uh, like JW2 authentication and uh, GraphQL but this time I'm going to make use direct connections from using Angular and uh, directly connect to the SQL. I'll try to make it very very simple um, and also as I said uh, I'm going to use Node.js uh, as a JavaScript runtime engine and I'm going to make use of HTML, Bootstrap and the Angular as my front-end tool. A good thing is Angular 7 has just been released as you can see so I'm going to try to use Angular 7 in this app um, and at the same time as I said I'll, I'll use Node.js and MySQL. Um, but again initially I wanted to make a tutorial to show you the complete crowd operation how to you know use Angular and connect to the MySQL um, but instead of making just a simple manual tutorial um, what I wanted to do, I'm going to demonstrate how to use this in a real life app. Um, and other reason I want to show how to use these technologies in a real uh, production like uh, like app, because you know when you're writing the crowd operation for a production app, it's very very different than what you see in tutorials and manual. Um, in real life app, each of the crowd operation you do, suppose your user is signing in, updating their credentials, or um, just you know saving some information to the database, each and every crowd operation should be authenticated and authorized um, before it's allowed to access database or perform any operation. So uh, that's why you know that's what I meant to say. Like you know, writing a code for production app is very very different when you're writing it for the development, um, and. Uh, you know, there are a lot of things we are going to cover. It's going to be a code along session. Good thing is, so I'm going to write most of the most of the code I'm going to use live in this uh, uh, in these videos. Um, but again, totally up to you. If you um, if you're not interested in the code along, this code is already uploaded to my GitHub repository, and I will include a link to the description to that GitHub repository. So uh, stay tuned. If you don't, if you just want to go ahead and download that code, feel free to pl please do that. Let me show you where it is. So github.com, okay, and it's going to be, it's called GPS mobile tracking app, okay. Now what this app does, okay, um, again I'm going to cover like each and every screen how to do those kind of a thing, uh, but let me show you what this app looks like. So this app will allow you to create a new account or you signed into a, um, if you already have an account. So suppose, um, Suppose this is not the valid account, I believe. So Amit.la, sign in. And once you sign in, so what it's going to do, so once you sign in, it will, uh, it will uh, give you a JWT token and it's going to store that token to your, um, um, to your local storage. And you will use those token to access and make any crowd operation to the database. One more thing I want to mention here, this app, what it does, actually it captures the live location, live GPS location based on your mobile or computer, wherever it is located. Basically what it does, like you know, it uses HTML geolocation feature to capture your database location, to capture your GPS or mobile location um, through your internet or network, whatever you are connected through. So it's going to be a very interesting app. And again, you know, basically it's a very short app, very small app, but you know, it's very useful features. So stay tuned. Um, again, you can, you know, I will include the link to this repository, to this video description, uh, but it's going to be a code along session. So stay tuned and uh, uh, please watch for the next videos.